Now, the reason we're talking about this is because the BBC and ITN newsreader Lewis Vaughan Jones has received messages of support after he wore a hearing aid on air for the first time. Lewis actually thought he'd have to give up his job after losing all the hearing in his left ear at the age of 36. And yesterday he shared the news and photos of him anchoring the BBC News Channel wearing the aid yesterday. And we can speak to Lewis now. Hello. Good morning. Lovely to talk to you. And uh, you. So, so tell us what happened a couple of months ago. Yeah, a couple of months ago I had a cold. I'd always had uh, hearing absolutely fine and normal. I had a bit of a cold and so kind of got a bit blocked up and couldn't hear anything out of my left ear. Um, I noticed a kind of bl a kind of drop in pressure. I went to the GP who kind of referred me on and they said, yep, your eardrum has stopped vibrating. Um, but we've also discovered that the nerve in your brain, which takes the sounds from your ear uh, into your brain, has decided to pretty much give up as well. Um, and it was a total bad luck coincidence that both things happened at the same time. Um, but I walked out and they said, yep, your hearing is gone. It's gone forever and the, uh, in your left ear. And the tinnitus, that really loud, annoying noise, which in my head is eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
such a relief that I could wear it on air on the BBC World News Channel and it was fine and it and it worked. I felt such a kind of emotional release that I was absolutely delighted to then take a picture and tweet about it and say, you know, this is all new to me. I'm just getting used to it, but I'm I'm wearing my hearing aid on air and, and you can clearly see it and, and here it is. Yeah, I'm really interested in that social media impact because you've been very open and very uh, visual about um, mm. what, what's happened. Uh, is that a way of dealing with it and also seeking assurance from the general public in many respects about the normality of what's happening right now? I'm sure it is. I think you're absolutely right because it, it feeds into this thing that where you, there's only so many times you can not know what's going on in a conversation. Only so many times you feel like you can interrupt or just nod along and smile and you just feel embarrassed and you feel stupid. You feel like, I know what people are talking about here, but I only know a quarter of what was going on. And I know I just look like I'm not interested or I'm being rude or I don't understand. And there's no reason to feel embarrassed logically. And yet, and yet I do and I did. And there's no logical reason why I shouldn't wear my hearing aid on air um, and feel good about it. And yet you do. You do feel embarrassed and you do feel self-conscious. So yesterday was great in just putting it out there. And the response, especially kind of direct messages on Twitter and private messages on Facebook from so many people um, around my age in their 30s and, and in their 20s who have gone through uh, something similar. And you know, the agreement is, you know, it's ridiculous to feel embarrassed. We shouldn't. And yet you do. So um, that's why it was such a, a you know a relief and important to me to just get it out there. Uh, Jim has got in touch as well from Bourneville. He says, I, I suddenly lost my hearing in my left ear 11 years ago when I was in my early 40s from an airborne virus which destroyed the nerve endings. It took a month to learn to walk again as the balance was affected and left with constant tinnitus. Not able to use a hearing aid as nothing to process the sound. has had a massive impact on work and social life. As I struggle to hear conversations in busy and crowded environments, you don't appreciate how your ears process good and bad noise until you only have one functioning ear that has to try to deal with, with everything. And we, we talk about this, I mean, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure my mum, if she's listening, morning mum, won't mind me <laughs> saying that, that she, she started losing her hearing about 10 years ago. But she's, you know, she's considerably older than you, but she's found it very isolating mm -hmm. that in social situations, it's that the conversations that people are having around you and you suddenly can't just chip in you know you're not hearing all of those yeah. those things anymore and and i wonder if you know if if you are if you are elderly then people will kind of make allowances for you but if you're younger they don't really get it yeah because it's not immediately obvious uh, kind of visual and especially for me i haven't had any problems with my hearing the whole my whole life there's no reason particularly why anyone would would suspect it and that's exactly what you feel self-conscious about because you can't it's difficult. You feel like going around your whole life explaining straight away to everyone that, you, that you're going to miss a lot of what's going on. And interesting, I have started a, a lip reading class and it is predominantly uh, much older people. I'm kind of the youngest there by 30 years. Um, but they talk about exactly the same experiences. And actually, they really enjoy the lip reading class for that uh, social aspect. They can get together and they can chat and they can not feel self-conscious about saying, can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Uh, but it was a bit strange walking into that class even because, yes, I was the youngest by by several decades uh, they did have a sense of humor that class actually they have a, no a notice on the door before you go in saying uh, don't bother knocking we probably can't hear you just come in <laughs> <laughs> well look uh, you know fingers crossed that, that everything is is all right you're not worried you, you is this was as far as you know this is just a one-off event uh, we think yeah that, yeah that they loss. think so there is actually a little hole in my right eardrum as well which is my good ear um but i'm not thinking about that right now <laughs> i've got enough to worry about absolutely good luck to you sir thank yeah you. absolutely thank you so much for talking to us um and and do get in touch loads of people getting in touch with us about this so i'd love to hear from you more after eight o'clock as well